Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference 2018 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joining the studio today, Mr. Yaroslav Ponda, who is the head of the ITU Regional Presence in Europe. Yaroslav, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for the invitation. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you, the theme for this year's Plenipotentiary Conference is connecting the world together. How has uh, the European region been making strides to get everyone connected over the last four years since uh, the, the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference in uh, uh, Busan? Uh, in the Europe region, uh, we are working very closely with the membership and remaining guided uh, by their priorities. Uh, we have developed the set of the regional initiatives uh, which uh, provide us the stable platform uh, for getting the membership together and to discuss their um, priorities and the most important to develop the concrete actions which are advancing their, uh, their challenges and their agendas. This uh, includes a variety of the uh, different activities including the broadband development, uh, cyber security, uh, um, digital inclusion, uh, also the innovation. Um, so we have prioritized recently uh, the very new trend of development of the 5G and implementation of this next generation uh, networks across uh, Europe. So we are working hand in hand with the all uh, countries, member states and the private sector in order to make this uh, happen, not only in the uh, EU countries, but also in the other countries uh, which are just in the course of the developing their strategies and taking a look how those new technologies can bridge digital divides still existing uh, in, the, in the countries. There's no doubt that Europe is leading at the global level the broadband um, race. Uh, nevertheless, there is a lot of uh, things which should be done in field of the cyber security, in building uh, trust and confidence in use of the ICTs. This is the reason why we are setting up and helping uh, the countries to uh, set up the proper national cybersecurity strategies and uh, to equip them through the project implementation with the uh, certs and the computer incident uh, response teams um, centers. We have just launched uh, one this year in the Cyprus, which is the second one which we are implementing. And uh, we are holding uh, the cyber drills where all these community, European communities uh, from the west, south, east, uh, north, are coming together to build their capacities to be responsive and to provide and, uh, a safe environment uh, to the users. Uh, of course, we are also not forgetting about the innovation. This is a key driver of the economic growth uh, and there is a huge potential in the European industry uh, to make sure that the properly set up systemic ICT-centric ecosystem uh, advances and uh, help the nations and the ICT industry and to be faster and to be more innovative and to be more impactful and to improve the life of the human beings. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about ITU's plans for the next year in the European region. Um, as I said, we are guided by the regional initiatives. Uh, so we have created the platforms uh, for um, different uh, work streams and different communities. Uh, we are very much attached uh, to the work on the 5G currently developing and providing the platforms at the sub-regional level um, uh, to uh, a little bit boost uh, the initiatives um, of the related to the uh, 5G, uh, in the same time building the capacities of those uh, who are still catching up. Um, we, for the next uh, year, uh, also we are uh, working on the accessible uh, on the issues related to the accessibility, and this is one of the issues which uh, member states are positioned very very high on their agendas to make sure that the ICT environment uh, is um, affordable and accessible to all, also uh, for those uh, people with the disabilities. Uh, which uh, can really benefit on the daily basis uh, from uh, the offering uh, proposed by the ICTs. Uh, this year we will be holding the first ever uh, Accessible Europe event, uh, which is co-organized with the European Commission. 
uh, and which will bring the key stakeholders and community of uh, the key leading uh, institutions working on this subject uh, in order to make sure that the all websites in the European Union and European uh, region uh, are uh, accessible, to make sure that mobile devices, mobile applications, that uh, whatever we are using uh, of the ICT technologies uh, are accessible uh, to everyone. And finally, do you have a message for participants here at the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference and also to our wider audience as well on behalf of uh, ITU in the European region? Absolutely. Uh, we have a very broad agenda uh, for advancing ICTs uh, and uh, there is space for all stakeholders uh, active in this area. Uh, therefore, we are calling for the strong partnerships with the all relevant uh, institutions uh, which can join the forces uh, and to make sure that those who need the support and those uh, who can make the, the change and uh, they uh, are in the right place uh, to advance uh, the, our joint agenda. Uh, so therefore, we are looking forward uh, to all those who are working already uh, with us to continue our journey, uh, but uh, more importantly, uh, those uh, who are still in uh, the process of joining the ITU community and uh, to considering uh, joining us as soon as possible because there is no time to be lost. Thank you. Couldn't agree more. Thank you very much indeed for joining us in the studio today and we look forward to catching up with you uh, over the next uh, four years, let's say, at least. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.